and <laughs> I'm going to bake a cake because it's Annette's birthday tomorrow and I don't know why I'm whispering that she knows it's her birthday tomorrow it's going to be a two layer cake with a coconut cream outside and I know the lighting is really bad stick with me and I'll show you something tomorrow also in fresh daylight Good morning! Happy birthday! I have to show you the cake one more time. It turned out really nice. Super happy with it. Let's see if she likes it. There's a bit of change of plans. We were supposed to stay here in an Airbnb for one week. And then, you know, sometimes when you come, you've seen a place on pictures and then you come there and actually see how it looks. It's not that, <laughs> it's so disappointing. It feels like I'm not allowed to have my expectations met sometimes. And then I need to speak up and I need to say something. And that's what I did. And this guy was so kind, he just said, you know what, you can just leave and f get a full refund. So what we did was to book something different. I'll show you very soon. <laughs> We have the cake, we have the dogs, the boards, Aneta is ready behind the wheels. Let's go and swim, I'm so warm. And we have a hat. Cheers. film anything okay so that was a bad idea <laughs> take two <laughs> okay so as you might see we are in a car it's not just a car it's actually a camping van here is one bed and the other bed is up in this tent and yes we actually did sleep here for about one hour <laughs> until we found out that we had parked in the middle of a party scene at 1.30, we woke up, we packed our stuff, 
and we drove home. <laughs> oh my gosh, last night was such a fail. And sometimes that happens. It could have been the most perfect night, but oh, this work thing that we've been dealing with has really pushed us off our edge. And ever since, it's like we've attracted so many shitty situations. Yeah, it's it's beginning to get hilarious, yeah. actually. <laughs> like, at Annette's birthday night yesterday, we after the Airbnb incident, we spontaneously got this camper van, and then we remembered that we don't really love camping. <laughs> and then we're going out to eat, standing there at the parking lot, trying to get ready. Annette had this beautiful dress, but it was all curly. I planned it in weeks ahead for once. I had this dress I really wanted to wear. And then we came uh, to too late like we were late to dinner and then there were no tables left it was so packed so we got like this most shitty table <laughs> watching like the people make food and then the kitchen lost our um, order order so we didn't get didn't get food before one hour more than one hour yeah more than one hour after waiting for one hour we, and it wasn't so we good told them. <laughs> and then we got the food and it was medium yeah it was kind of like yeah, and then that happened. <laughs> and, and then we started arguing. Yes, because both of us, you know, when you're so low and then you just can't take one more thing and then you're just like, I don't know. So today we were like, should we even leave the house? <laughs> That's how I've been feeling the past few weeks, honestly. But Every not- time I've left the house, something has happened that's really weird. Yeah, and it's never like this. And so today we just decided, okay, let's turn it around. Let's try to neutralize it as <laughs> much as possible. We have every day. Yeah, but still. It's, <laughs> we keep trying. We have to keep trying until we actually do. Yeah. And, um, yeah, your vibe is everything, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. And downward spiraling often happens because when one thing happens, you, you're out of your, your high state, your like, happy vibration, you go down. It happens one more thing, you go down, 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 and then you just have to surrender. I think it's also because we've been really hard with ourselves. Yeah. And it reflects all around. Yeah. People have to tell you off and be strict with you because you're so strict with yourself. Okay. <sighs> so we have to really make the best. We've been laughing all day at all the things that have been happening. Yeah. And most importantly, uh, we just decided to be really honest about it. And grateful for even just having a camper van. I know that's more than a lot a lot of people can just do. Yeah. So let's <laughs> have a road trip. <laughs> let's go. So tomorrow is the national day in Norway, the 17th of May. And usually we celebrate with having a champagne breakfast where we have like a buffet, um, gather a bunch of friends, family, and then celebrate with waving the flag, singing different songs. People usually drink a lot, eat good food, um, and then the party continues throughout the day. Tomorrow, as you know, we are in Portugal, but we have been invited to a breakfast with some Norwegian people in Lisbon, which I think is really nice because I don't know a lot of people here in general, and especially not Norwegians. So I didn't have any expectations for the day, but now we're going and we're going to make some different dishes, a few salads and I'm going to make a raw vegan, what's it called, cheesecake recipe found at Minimalist Baker. So I'll show you, I'll show you what I put in there and I can put the link to the recipe.
we are in Lisbon celebrating today 17th of May it's a national day in Norway we're going to celebrate with some people here and trying to find our way now we brought some food brought the cake some wine and it's a beautiful day So this is Matt's place What's up? in Lisbon. It's absolutely beautiful. And you're on YouTube. You're a YouTuber. Uh, I am a YouTuber. Check him out on YouTube Lunicorn as well. On YouTube. <laughs> so we're celebrating here today, having a breakfast outside. Some. I don't know what we're drinking. For a place to live. Sparkly. Like, where should we go? I know. I looked in Porto as well, actually. So I've, I yeah. looked to buy as well. every time we go to the beach. <laughs> Lovely towel for you. <laughs> <laughs> 